Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on Kiazma's account, checking out Frampton. Now, we, we've got him on tier 2 gear, not quite tier 3, but we do have him at 60 engraving, 30 signature item, and 9 furniture. So we're going to give him a bit of a test in the invade teams. I feel like this is one of the prime uses for him. I want to take a look at him. The main thing we are looking at also is not just like the use in the invade team, but it's really this 30 engraving that I think really is going to enable him into a lot of teams. So I'm keen to see how this goes as well, drawing him in. Have done some testing, so I've got some things that I do want to speak about. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we go. This is the first one we're going to look at. We are in campaign. We're not at a huge deficit here, so it's not the craziest thing in the world to be testing him with. But I just wanted to show you some examples. So this one here using Zafrael. Now, the one sad thing about Zafrael with Frampton is that... Frampton is too slow at actually grouping enemies up. I don't think he's as fast as Chicken. You'll notice in this that Zafrael actually lands before he groups the enemies up, so we don't get the stun on the Mortis and the Verk, which is really kind of sad. I, I was hoping he's a bit quicker. The problem is because it's tied into his ability, it's not just like a passive thing like the, the Chicken. He's actually, like, his ability is a big wind-up at the start of the battle, so it actually takes him a while to engage on that enemy opposite him and draw the enemies in. So it is a bit slow like that but this sort of thing it's just you're just going for basically max damage potential out of it and hopefully you can just burst the whole team in now the thing about this is even though it doesn't work with the stun and zafrael at the very start you do have the zafrael massive ultimate which is going to be then have enemies grouped up and allow you to cleave through now this team we also have the zorath obviously zorath just helping us with our entry into battle we also do get the two hyper gem bonus plus the three uh wilder bonus due to the zafrael which isn't too bad Lyca obviously in there for Lyca reasons and then lawson in there obviously for the link so let's just take a look at this one and sort of show you how this one's going to pan out and as you can see he has a wind up then he does his punch then they drag in but unfortunately that uh that zafrael had already landed and stunned the middle enemy before the the frampton actually groups them up which is the one sad thing i wish he was just a little bit quicker i don't know if there's going to be a, like a case for like you can get enough haste on frampton to frampton to the point where he's going to be able to do that quicker. I don't think it will happen. Um, but if it did, it would be really nice just to have more synergies like that. Um, but as you can see, there we go. That's that one. You can see Frampton didn't really get time to do, ramp up in this one. Uh, we had the big burst damage coming out of Zolrath and... Uh, and also Zafrael. Uh, I feel like he needs a bit more time to stack up his passives and stuff like that and get that explosion damage. Um, but we'll look at a couple with Screg now. Okay, so here's one we're using more of a Mauler base, just going for the Mauler bonus as big as possible. We are sticking with Zafrael. I really like the synergy of Zafrael with him. I think it's just really solid. Zafrael dies super early in this one, but still his early damage is just insane at this deficit, so it's not too bad. Um, the, thing that, the thing is, with this team, like... You are fighting against a Verk who's normally really strong against Invade because you do run into his poisons, but even that isn't really enough to stop us at this point. So let's just take a look. Uh, as you can see, it'd be really nice if you could actually stop Verk dropping the poisons, but unfortunately Verk still does get those poisons in, which do screw us. And in this in this battle, it was Zafrael that landed on the poison, which basically just made him useless. Like he got his early burst damage in, that was it, but it was a massive chunk of damage um, and that manages to get us there. Um, as you can see, then we just have this like long drawn out fight against the Mezoth until we actually get him down. But you know, Good example of one there. Let's jump in and actually try another Scrag comp. So let's go here. Let's go here. And because we are using the group up, I, I really like the idea of Queen, but I think Queen might have to start from the back row uh, to get there in time. I'm not too sure. And we might have to try this against a different comp. Um, but if I go something like this, let's just see. This is one I haven't actually tried yet. So let's see if Queen... Okay, they get grouped up. Queen does her motorcycle thing. I don't think she landed too many stuns there. I'm not sure how synergistic that was. But it was just an idea that I had. So let's just see if Queen can group up. Get some stuns in there. So that, that's the cool thing about Queen is she does, has the consistent grouping, which is going to work. Now this is obviously going to come down to a tank fest against the, uh, the Mezoth, which I don't know if we're going to win. I don't know if we're going to win it. Let's see if we can. Queen be dead. Queen be dead. Can we, uh, can we get this one? I don't think we're going to get it. Me Mezoth, too thick. Oh, he's almost, un he's almost under 50. He's almost under 50. Then we can start knocking him up with our basic attacks. 
Can we, can we, yes, got him. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Mezoth, chunky. Super chunky. Uh, but we should be good now. We should be good now. We get that, like, his basic attack combo is actually super nice with the extra stun. Like, really solid. So even against that, not too bad. I, I definitely want to test him more with Queen. I, th I think Queen has a really cool synergy with it. And as you guys know, I've just always been a fan of Queen ever since she came into the game. Um, just that, that group up potential. Because uh, you've got him grouping at the start and then Queen's able just to get those stuns rolling. So I think that's going to be something cool to test more moving forward. Let's actually tr test that team against another enemy and see how it goes. So let's swap this up. And once again, not at the highest deficit here. So I'm um, not trying to like, you know, change the world. I'm try just trying to test this and see how we go. So something like this is light bearer focused. We do have, um, yeah, let's just try it. Let's just try it. I don't know who the Pip is going to portal. Hopefully she tries to go for Scrag. I think she did try to go for Scrag, which is nice. Or maybe it was Zap. Maybe it was Zap. I didn't, I didn't quite see that yet. So that one's not going to work. That ain't going to work. That kind of sucks. I was hoping that would be better. Let's let's try this way. So I'm, it, it's blue stat. Like I cannot make any emulator work at the moment. It must be my PC because I just cannot get any of them to work. Oh wait, Pip is teleporting the... Um, Orthros because she's in the bottom. So Pip is ruining my day. So that kind of sucks. Let's see if you can live this. Let's see if you can live. Ooh, lightning bolts. We're dead. We'd be dead. We'd be dead. Pip got them lightning bolts. Okay. 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 Probably not my best team to use here. Uh, what if we went ahead and put you there? Then you'll run straight into... Okay, so the problem is... Yeah, this team sucks because the Pip is actually stunning him at the start of the battle, I think is what's happening. If Blue Sacks wasn't so laggy, we'd probably be able to see. Uh, this, one, this one's a bit easier to do it with. So what we'll do here is... Let's go with that. And then we can pretty much go with whatever in the back. Kind of want to go a Mauler just so we get the bonus. So do we go Titus or do we just go something... Like, let's go Let's go Numisu. Let's Let's get a haste buff. Who gets it? I don't know who gets it. I can't actually see the haste buff symbol on anyone's head. It's too cluttered. It's too cluttered. But as you can see, this one this one working quite nicely. Like get the good group up, then as soon as Zap goes to ult, everyone's in range. Okay, he does get the haste buff in that. Like I, I like this sort of team. I think this could have like a solid synergy. Like it's not the best, but it's pretty solid. And it's nice to see him doing damage up there with Zap, considering Zap's been doing some pretty decent burst. But yeah, overall, I actually really like this guy. I think he's going to be quite decent. And I think there's more teams that he's going to evolve in. But like, obviously the, the invade thing is just the first one. I really like the queen idea. I'm going to keep testing him with queen because... Like I said, I'm just a big Queen fan and I'm hoping we can get some really cool stuff. But overall, since the, for, compared to like who, who's been the most recent uh, Cell Hypos, we've had him, we've had Titus, we've had Zikis. Yeah, like he's, he's the, the, like the best recent addition to Cell Hypos that I think we've really had since... For, well, well, you could count Mortis... But like, I, I'm not a fan of Mortis. He's, I, I just don't like him. So for me, he's like the, the best one since really, uh, since Alna. So not too bad. I do enjoy him. The lore stuff is actually pretty cool that I've been reading uh, with the event and all that stuff in the comic they got. So definitely going to do some more with this guy. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.